Hey you guys, how's it going? It's Dang, your gay plant daddy has returned with some beautiful botanical treasure for our March 2020 uh, pre-orders. Yeah, so I got a March 2020 pre-order. It's like almost the end of the March right now, but whatever. The world is currently burning. As you can see, I've been self-isolating myself for a week. I haven't been to the gym, so I'm getting a little fat. My, like my fat chin is coming back. Uh, I hope this will be over soon because my summer body of 2020 is going to be pushed back to 2021 or 2022. Who knows? Anyways, but I got some beautiful botanical treasures and I just want to show them to you. Let's go and see them. Okay, so we have some beautiful greeneries here. Oh my gosh. There's like three more trays that I want to show you. But I want to show you these trays first. Um, yeah, slowly and slowly I've been moving far away from Echeverria's. The reason is because no matter how many steps you take to ensure that um, the cargo arrives as quick as as quick as uh, it can, unfortunately, you know, Echeverries have the highest rate of uh, rotting. So that's a no bueno for me for with Echeverries anymore, unless somebody really wants it, and I know that person. You know, then I'll get it for them. But other than that, I'm no longer bringing in Echeverias anymore. I'm at, I love Gibbophoria, Echeveria Gibbophoria, but that's gonna be enough. Anyways, the first one I wanna show you is this one. Uh, this is an evergreen, Chinese evergreen Pictum tricolor. Um, it came in perfectly fine. So the, re the leaves hasn't melted. It's a little frail because, you know, it's been traveling for like, it's been in a box for four days, four to five days give or take whatever. So it needs to, you know, be misted and um, re, 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 regenerate. What, so what's that word? Recharge. It needs to mist and then recharge. So that's what it needs to do. So we're going to work on that tomorrow. So I'm just going to let this dry a little bit more and then uh, pot into spag, spag, sphagnum moss. I was almost saying the other stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to mist it. So that'd be cool. So these ones require like indirect light, not full sunlight. Or full sunlight, it will burn the leaf. So that's not that's not a good thing. Anyways, so let's get it to our agaves. Okay, uh, so this is the agave renegade uh, hamasaki, I believe. Yeah, it's beautiful. This time, these ones are very beautiful. I like them when they're smaller like these. Ooh, hello, sexy legs. See, I got nice calves going on. I need to go back to the gym. Ooh. Will the uh, ruby slippers uh, fit me? Probably not, because my feet are too big. Uh, no, they're actually, they're like nine and a half, whatever. Okay, and these are the Agave Renegade Margina, Margina Vergata. So these ones are okay. I'm okay with them. Uh, what I like is actually the cream ones. These are actually really gorgeous in real life. They have very nice color. So absolutely stunning. So whoever bought these ones, right on with also the, the Hamasaki ones. I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I know, I know. I know. Uh, so those two are absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations to those folks who have pre-ordered those. Uh, this is the Patorum, Agave Patorum. It is very, very sharp. So it's, uh, I, I don't want to touch it, but this one's a bigger one. So that's pretty gorgeous. Uh, and this is a Dickia. I love dicks. It's, it's a perfect, it's a perfect plant for me to like to have a dick. This is, I love the dickia. Oh my God. This one is powdery. Um, and the teeth are very, very sharp. My mom doesn't like these ones cause it hurts her, you know? So those, those are the dickia. Uh, this is the agave strata, strata. Very nice. These are, I, I bought I bought a few of them for a gift for people because I spent a lot of money. So this year I'm like, you know what? Let's give back a little bit. So those are little gifts. This is Euphobia milii crested, crested milii. So you can buy the normal one in the store like for five, ten dollars But the crested one, they don't really have. So this is what that is. So that's that tray. Very, very sharp tray. I don't recommend it unless like, unless, okay, unless like, you need a, a defense weapon in, in your home and when there's a burglar or if somebody's abusing you and they don't know that these things are super sharp, you can use this as a weapon. All of these, you can use it as a weapon. 
they will never suspect the plants because they like like they look frail and fragile but no these are tough af okay next one uh so this is the ooh the colors are so gorgeous oh that's blurry hold on computer focus okay it's focused okay now it's gonna be all focused uh so this year oh it's unfocused again so anyways this year i wanted to get into more euphobia francoisie i, I was pronounced it francisi but it's actually francoisie uh hybrids and look at how gorgeous the um the uh what is it called um foliage on this look at that look at that beautiful beautiful flower and look how small it is so this this is the type of hybrid that costs a lot of money when it gets bigger it costs even more money so um i have to find a balance between this and a little bit bigger but it doesn't cost that much yeah so that one's beautiful i think these ones are the same ones as well so i think they're all the same kind of there's a little subtle differences to them but yeah and this one is the one I brought in last year that everybody loved. This is the other uh, Euphobia Francoisie hybrid. Look at that foliage, absolutely gorgeous, right? It comes in like this. Sometimes it comes in like this. Sometimes it, the leaf falls off because that's the type of plants they are. It's, it, just, it just falls off, but it comes back to life. As long as the, the, uh, the, the body, the root, the codex is uh, fine. You don't smell any type of like rotting going on, it's fine. Uh, this is the Dorsentia cristata, whatever. Cute little flower. See, see the flowers are weird, eh? But this is how they grow. Um, yeah, love those ones. Uh, this is a Gasteria tiger stripe. I have one of these. These are cool. Uh, this is a Gasteria bicolor pumjimi. Really cool as well. Uh, I can't focus. Ow, that hurts. There you go. See. There you go, that's better. That's really cool. I wanted to get one, but I never got one. Uh, this is a Gasteria Nirikins, Nirikins uh, Silver Variegation. So it's a white variegation. Um, what I would recommend if you are gonna buy a Gasteria is the, uh, not that one, where's the other one? I think we're gonna find it sooner or later. Oh, here, here. This is the regular variegation one. This is one the one I have that looks really super nice. So I would recommend this one if you're gonna get a Gasteria, a starter one. It's pretty cheap. Uh, this is a Haworthia simophorus, sim whatever. Beautiful. Uh, this is a Haworthia limifolia. I have the bigger one that you guys usually see. Um, this is a Haworthia uh, limifolia hybrid. Okay, so there's three kinds, and this is a limif. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And this is a limifolia ex fasciata hybrid. Yeah, so there's three of them. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So when you get these, you actually have to bury them, bury them deep into soil, and then keep watering once a week for them to actually grow roots. Do not put them into gritty mix and never water them because that is the fastest way to rot, to slowly, slowly uh, dry them up and just they're gone. Okay, that's what people may, may, may make mistakes with Haworthia. This is a Haworthia Grey Ghost. Very nice, very nice. And this is my, this is the Mondominium Ricci Variegata, which I call also the dick plant, because when you wrap it up, it looks like a nice dick with like two penis, I mean, sorry, two balls, right? Okay, and then, oh, there's, these, these also are the other Francoisi hybrid, but I think they might not make it because of how soft the, uh, the codex is. I already told the seller about that. Uh, this one might not make it either. So we'll see. So that's why I like, I like to hold them for a week just to see how well they fare with me. If they're okay by the week's end, I ship them out. If they don't, well, I have to cancel. One of them actually did rot, so I have to cancel one of them. Anyways, um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so coming back is the uh, Sensevaria pingiculata. I call it uh, the ping pingiculata. <clears throat> There's a, there's a natural name, but these are also referenced as the walking sense of area. They're really cool. 
So you, you would plant them into soil and then slowly and surely you just like keep, keep lifting them up and they look really, really cool. Um, um, Oh yeah, you can tell my voice. I have a little cold. I'm not infected, not that I know of. Anyways, I've been I've been like I've had the cold for like for over a week and a half, so it is the cold. Anyways, um, and this is a Krasla Krasla Buddha's Temple cluster. If you're gonna get a Krasla Buddha's Temple, get the cluster versus the regular one, which is right here. The regular one only grows like this. Okay, the regular one only grows like this. It doesn't grow as a cluster, not that I've ever seen it do that. So we have that. These are the hernias. I, I know there's a name for it, but I don't. Who, 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 hernia, who, hernia? And that's its little flower. It's about to flower. And then better. Focus. Computer. I can't focus. Okay. There. Okay, okay, now. Okay, whatever, what, 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 whatever. There you go. Anyways, yeah. So these are the hernias uh, variegatas, and then you have the other one. These are the pink flower ones, I believe. That's what my seller sent to me. It's pink flowers. So we'll see what happens when they bloom. So those ones are there. Uh, this is really huge. Patty is gonna really love this. There goes my cat. He just jumped into the box. He just jumped. What the fucking cat, man? All right, kitty, you live there. Anyways, uh, oh. yeah, so this is really nice. Patty's gonna love this. Look how beautiful this is. Gorgeous texture, nice side, nice size, really hard, you know what I mean? Good size, hardness, really stiff, and it's nice texture, love that. Uh, this is a Sense of Air Silver Blue. That's a regular item that we have. This is a Kirky Brown, the actual brown one, not the green one. There's actually two versions, actually a few versions. There's the platinum, there's the celery, there's the brown, which is this, and there's the uh, green one. So we have that. And then we have another returning one, favorite one, is the Krasla Ovada Vergata, or also the lemon and lime. I have one, it's very nice. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I do recommend that one if anybody still likes uh, Krasla's uh, jade plants, right? And you have here are the Golden Wendy's. There's so many Wendy. There's no Karen here, but there's a Wendy. Mmm, mm, Dave Thomas, I would love to have some of your burgers right now. Oh God, I'm so hungry. I haven't left my house. I left my house today for a walk and that was it. I, other than that, I haven't actually left my house in like a week. Anyways, uh, this is a Sensevieria um, Francisi uh, white variegata. Um, and where's the yellow variegata? The yellow variegation is right here. So there's a nice difference, you can tell. Yellow, white, a little bit. So the whiter one is actually a little bit more expensive than the uh, Sorry, the, the white ones are more expensive than the yellow ones, which is wrong. Uh, this is a Sensevere Pagoda uh, Hybrid. I have one of these. They're really cute and tiny. Uh, this is a Sensevere, I don't remember its name. Uh, this is a Sensevere Bonsal Dwarf. Absolutely cute little thing. I should have bought one for myself. Look how cute that is. There's a variegated one as well, but that's expensive. Uh, but this is really, really cute. I love it. And this is a uh, Sensever Cordova. Cordo okay, pronounce it with me. Sensevieria Cordova. Cordova. Uh, yeah, so this is one of the nicer ones. Um, there is another one called a Sensever Gabriella, which is much, much more expensive than this, but I mean, they're both similar, so Cordova will do Cordova. Sorry, uh, this is a Sensevieria Cleopatra. So I think that does it for this, these three trays. Um, oh, wait, there's there's a Sensevieria Bonsal Vergata. I'm oh, sorry, Bonsal Vergata as well. Yeah, so this is the regular Bonsal. 
The other one was a dwarf bonsai right there. That's a dwarf bonsai. Okay, so I think this is it for this tray. I'm gonna stop it because I gotta pause it and then put in one to the other three trays up here and we'll continue. Okay, so uh, I made a mistake. There's actually two trays left. The other one was actually filled with like whale fins and I have made a executive CEO uh, presidential decisions to never show any whale fin on camera again especially for pre-orders because the reason is that most people some people will message me and then they want that one and then somebody else wants it and then it's gone and then their sad face is like oh no sad face it's gone i'm so sad i'm like okay all right that is the reason why i do never i never ever 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 put whale fins on uh on show anymore it has happened many times in the past and also like i, I work and then i just get people i want this one i want this one i want that like, okay bye anyways let's continue on um and then there's actually one more package that's currently on the way uh and that package actually is with the aloe so anyways um so this is a sense of very gold banner variegata it's beautiful isn't it Look how nice that one is. My guy, my, my, my beautiful person, loves to give me nice stuff. Especially when he has it, he'll just give it to me. Very nice, absolutely gorgeous. Because sometimes he thinks it's for me. Uh, this is the Gold Banner Mutation. Very nice as well. Mine brought it away, which kind of sucks. I, I really like that one too. Uh, this is a Lancet, Harbor Lancet White. A lot of people love this. Um, this is the honey, golden honey mutation. So, golden honey mutation. So it's like more pure yellow variegation uh, instead of having like greenish. And then this is the, I think this is the original honey, golden honey right here. So it would have lesser white versus the one in the store where you see like here, I, I've, I've explained this on the stream. You see here, those are the white streaks right there. You see more of those in the nursery ones. You see less of those on these ones. So very beautiful, very beautiful, I love that. Uh, a nice one that returned is the uh, Sensevaria Tsunami. These ones are very gorgeous as well. They're actually, I think they're called Twister Sister Tsunami. I just call them the Tsunami because it sounds, it rolls off the top. It rolls off your, it rolls off your tongue much better, right? Like a good, nice, delicious midnight banana snack. Mm, okay. Uh, and this is, this is one of the rare ones that I um, luckily brought in. So this is a, the Sensevaria Gabriella X something, the celery platinum um, texture of the plant. So that's a, that's a new thing in Asia right now. There's different, um, there's platinum and celery texture. It's gorgeous. I think bronze as well. So that's, I only got one in, unfortunately. I thought he had more, but um, he couldn't get more. He only got one in, one in. So luckily the person who got it first, got it first. This is a uh, Sensever uh, Pagoda Striata. Very gorgeous. I've been meaning to get one for myself, but I never got a chance to get one. Cause I think the first time I uh, bought the mint, I did get one for myself and somebody really wanted it and I sold it and I never got one for myself again. Very gorgeous, isn't it? Look, look at that, that, that like pattern. Very, very gorgeous. I think people mistaken these for the one that you can get like in the store, but you can't get these ones in the store. Like this pattern, you cannot get in the store. I love it. Uh, this is a Lavrenos. Sensevera Lavrenos 23512 or something like that. I have one. It's very nice. It's getting bigger. Okay. And the, oh, and this is a Sensevera Missiona white variegation. I just put this in because this is trash and uh, I'm, I'm not going to sell this. So yeah. So that's this is what a whale fin looks like. And then the white texture is the white variegation. That's what people are sought off after. Oh, and then also uh a aeonium cristata so they ordered that nice okay and this pile is for 
yours truly, beautiful me, uh, your gay plant daddy right here, okay? Uh, this is for me. I've become a, uh, what you would know in the industry as a, an alahor, as you can, uh, as you can roll it off your tongue, a alahor, alahandros, uh, alahor, what, what is that, that Harry Potter uh, spell, alor more something, I don't know, anyways. Uh, but I've become an aloe lover because aloes are actually very interesting, especially the hybrid ones, which cost like a billion dollars. But you know, we're all gonna burn, so it's okay. It's okay to spend the money. Anyways, uh, let me introduce you to some of my new beauties into my family. Uh, so this is an aloe hybrid. I don't know what the name of it is uh, because I thought this one was, uh, I thought this one was the juvenile which he did send me right here, right? So this is this one is the one you can get in the nursery anywhere and everywhere. Like you can get this one anywhere and everywhere. Not a problem, right? But this one, no, look at that. That is beautiful. I gotta see who knows the name of this. I think this is a hybrid of the nobilis and something else. That one is gorgeous, isn't it? This one is a black gem variegata. Look at that, look at that, how beautiful the, uh, the texture of this is. Very, very gorgeous. Uh, this is a aloe uh, gold tooth variegata. Nice. Uh, this is an aloe parva. It's a blue aloe, okay. Uh, this is a aloe smithformis. Vergata, right? Or Porfiriata Vergata, whichever one. I got this one too, right? Uh, this is an aloe Cast Castelloni. Castelloni. I got this one from him as well. Might as well, hold on. Let me go for it. There you go. That's better. Okay, I think you can focus right there, right? Yeah, there you go. There's a lot of hybrids of these, and the hybrids are very, very beautiful. So those ones. Uh, he sent me this. This is a uh, Haworthia, no, Gasteria something. But the texture on it is absolutely marvelous. Look at the texture. Look at the variegation texture. Gorgeous. So I gotta find out what this is. I think he just sent me as a sample for me to enjoy and like sell it. Right. Uh, this one, I don't know. I think I already have this one. I don't know the tongue. I don't remember. But. My last one that I want to show you, which is uh, my crown jewel at the moment until my other aloes come in. This is an aloe simoliensis variegata from Simolia. It's a variegated simoliensis. Very, very beautiful. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? OMG. You're so sexy. Da 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 So that is it for the plant haul. Uh, there is one more box, so I'm gonna wait for that one more box to finish this all, okay? Okay, so the last few plants that came in today are this Euphobia Pasoni. I don't remember the name, but the foliage is very beautiful. It's a variegated one. So it's very, very beautiful once the foliage comes out. Uh, and this is a Crassula Baby Surprise. So it's right there. And then I have some Agile Mishkis Spheroids. And then you got some, uh, well, Agile Mishkis Mirinay Spheroid. Then you got Agile Mishkis Mirinay South Clan William. And then you got, I got some beautiful TCT uh, aloes right here, hybrids. Uh, and they've been dry for like two weeks or so and they traveled, so they look a little bit smaller. But that's pretty normal. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this uh, plant haul video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a April order because the economy is about to crash and a lot of people have lost their jobs, so I don't know what to do. Anyways, but that's it. Very, very beautiful plants, right? Hopefully, I will see you guys soon. Love ya, bye.